Hi, uh, I'm Boyan Krosnov from Storpool, um, and I've come here to talk to you about high performance block storage. Um, I've come from, uh, I've worked in IT infrastructure since, since 99, uh, and I've been doing distributed storage uh, for about three and a half years now in a company called Storpool. Uh, I've lived all over the world, seen all kinds of uh, crazy uh, infrastructure things. Um, and distributed storage, um, distributed software defined storage is uh, fairly new. Um, and uh, it's, it's basically storage that works on uh, standard servers, um, standard hard drives, uh, standard network. Um, and um, all the storage magic happens in software that runs on these standard servers. And the reason now is, is the good time for this, for distributed storage. Uh, there are a couple of main reasons. There are a lot more, but there are a couple of main reasons. One is uh, low-cost, high-performance networks, like uh, this switch, for example, uh, is at around $65 uh, per port. The whole box is around $4,000. And the other reason is, um, um, multi-core processors. So a standard server today has about, say, 20 cores, uh, each running at around 3 gigahertz, and has lots of RAM. So um, for a software-defined system, be it you know, software-defined network, software-defined storage, uh, what we do is we take a, a small fraction of, of that, um, a small fraction of that server, say one core, maybe two cores, uh, and we try to deliver um, high performance, in this case, storage system out of this one or maybe two CPU cores. Um, and uh, this is what we do. So Storpo is a distributed block layer, high performance storage system, running on standard x86 hardware, and we deliver it as uh, software and services. So we uh, help you design a system, we install it, we upgrade it, etc. And we do this for uh, hosting of virtual machines and containers, for service providers and private clouds. Uh, and in a lot of cases where people choose Storpo, it's because of performance and efficiency. It's not because of some other, uh, say, features. So the, the problem uh, with uh, block storage in the Linux ecosystem and in the OpenStack ecosystem is that um, clouds need a high performance block storage system for a lot of workloads. So a lot of workloads uh, simply cannot work uh, on object storage. They need block storage, high performance block storage. And Ceph is very good uh, at being a scalable object store, but it's not that good and it really fails at, uh, to deliver a fast block storage service. Um, and um, so to, to give you an example of you know, the, the type of performance difference you can get between one system and the other, even though they're both distributed block storage systems, right? Uh, so we um, run these tests on the same hardware, the same hard drive, same SSDs, same servers. Um, we gave each system, uh, you know, 12 drives and two, three SSDs or just 12 hard drives. Um, and the performance difference you see is something like this. So, so this is a... Uh, IOPS on the X uh, axis and uh, CPU usage on the Y axis. So um, you get, um, with Ceph, when you really load the system, you, you get something like 40% uh, CPU usage on all of the storage nodes. Uh, and because these are hyper-threaded systems, this, this really means that they're kind of fully occupied. They're kind of saturated on CPU. They can't really do a lot more. Um, and with Storpool, we're, you know, down there at under 5% for, even though at the same time, um, um, you know, Storpool's delivering like 15,000 IOPS and it's using 4% CPU. Um, so this is, um, um, this is the kind of performance difference you would see so, uh, between uh, one system and another, so, so like, eight times difference in, in performance on the same hardware, eight times more IOPS, uh, while at the same time um, having six times less or 10 times less CPU usage. Okay. Um, so what, what, does, what, does it, what does this kind of performance help us do? Um, one thing it allows you to do is uh, to efficiently combine 
um, storage nodes and compute nodes, um, storage, storage and compute on the same servers, on the same nodes. Um, so if your storage system is very CPU hungry, if it needs a lot of CPU, then uh, you can't combine it with other workloads on the same server. And if the storage system only uh, is fixed to using uh, one or two CPU cores, then you can use the other CPU cores for, for your compute workloads. Uh, and this is called a converged architecture. In a converged architecture, you may get um, uh, the, the type, types of gains you can get are, say, half the servers, half the network ports, uh, only one type of server to manage, uh, which means that when you need to grow the system, you just buy another um, box of the same kind. Uh, it's lower total cost, obviously, and um, a lot, a lot simpler for um, managing this kind of infrastructure. Uh, so our takeaways, um, higher performance means, uh, it's, it's about the economics of this, so, so it, higher performance means euros. Uh, give us a try, I uh, will be happy to help you along, uh, help you figure it out. Uh, and we uh, want to build the best block storage system for your needs, like we want to help you build it. Um, I have a, a store pool demo in, at 2.55 today at the Marketplace Theater, uh, and our booth is C14, so if anyone wants to visit us there, we're there. Okay. Uh, thank you.